I, you know, I think I've reached a breaking point in my collecting life where I can honestly say, I think Hasbro finally broke me. I think so. I think so. Because, hear me out. Hear me out. Because, when they announced this Hulkbuster, and we didn't know what the pre-order price was going to look like. My first guess was $75. I posted this on a couple of the forums, a couple of the groups and a couple of groups I'm in. I said, this is going to cost like $75 or $79.99. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. And then when they said, when they dropped it and they were like, oh, it's $60. I was like, well, that's not that bad. <laughs> Granted, it is that bad. But, okay, if they've broken me to a point where I think 60 isn't that bad for this, I can only imagine the mind F they've given to all the Hasbros out there, all the people out there that just slurp up the Hasbro and like defend them, defend them with a sword and shield, just waiting to take up arms against people like me that criticize them when they do bad things and have bad, bad uh, uh, practices. Because, yo, seriously, I saw this and I was like, Mm, 60 ain't that bad and then i took a second and sat back and i was like wait oh shoot they got me <laughs> they, they've they've driven up their prices so high for so little for so little quality and cheap crap they've driven up the prices so high that i actually for like five seconds those freaking guys those effing Mm, they got me <laughs> they got me they got me they got me they got me but thank god thank goodness thank everything holy in this world they didn't get you because this thing is not sold out anywhere Re mostly when they drop things the pre-order if it's a desired figure like this Hulk Buster, right the the it sells out the pre-orders just go they're gone there they're, there's no hesitation among the community to pick this up but i feel like with the bad economy inflation and everything going to absolute hell i feel like we're starting to reach the breaking point ladies and gentlemen we're starting to reach the breaking point because this thing is not sold out anywhere. It's not, I would, when I checked last before recording this, it hadn't even been sold out on Hasbro Pulse. It was still up for pre-order on Hasbro Pulse. So either they thought it was going to sell more, so they made more, or people were just like, nah, I'm good. Either way, I just wanna say, me personally, I think it's cool, but not sixty dollars cool. I'm sorry, like I um I don't see the pain. I don't see the I it just looks like bare plastic upon bare plastic. Like I'm getting I'm reaching a point where gold and silver plastic colored plastic on Hasbro figures, if I see barbling, I'm at a point I just don't want to buy it anymore. I don't. I don't. Now this, they if it goes on sale, if it goes on sale, fifty dollars, forty, forty dollars, I'm in. I got this. I'm get because I want this. I really do want this figure, and I'm hoping that with this reaction and this response from the community, that that it means that I can get this thing on sale down the road. I mean, hell, uh, Hasbro Pulse has all these uh, sales going on right now on their outlet wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> i remember when their outlet was called their uh clearance sale where they basically were giving you all the toilet paper figures they created 
over the years. I was like, they still had, they still had the, uh, 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 the eternal figures up there. They were trying to sell them suckers for like five bucks before they unloaded them on your local Ollies and, and, and your uh, local Rosses. <laughs> before they did all that. They called it the clearance store. Now it's the outlet store. Give me a break. It once again, it's crap no one wants. It like who wants Agatha Harkness? <laughs> who the frick wants Agatha Harkness? <laughs> who wants who wants who wants a, a a figure of a blind dude? Is like Matt Murdock? daredevil without the dare <laughs> why would i pay for that action figure for that didn't even make sense i mean there's a handful that'll do it for a display they'll have like a before he changed into his outfit and an after you know there'll, there'll be there'll be those people out there that actually it makes sense for them but that ain't the majority boys <laughs> get get know your audience get to know your audience better seriously don't just don't just don't just deal with the suck-ups deal with the overall audience because the overall audience is letting you know what to give them for their money this thing like i said for five seconds this whole buster this thing for five seconds they had me because i was like oh it's not that bad fifty dollars sixty dollars not that bad sixty is not that bad no no it's bad that's bad especially for what they're offering i like it i like it i want to buy it but i feel like ten dollars cheaper makes more sense is it is this just me is it just me or should i just wait for them to re-release the marvel select one even though it's a little shorter should i just do that i don't know i don't know let me know let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know. Holler at me. And then to immediately contradict myself, they have the Mofex Rogue and Flashpoint Flash from Mofex immediately contradicting myself. I acknowledge it. I acknowledge it. I'm man enough to acknowledge I'm contradicting myself by talking about a $110 action figure or 85 depending on if you're getting it directly from japan but then you add shipping whatever anyway let's say a hundred dollars let's call it let's call it even hundred dollars for an action figure uh version of rogue from mofex okay here's the thing yes i am a hypocrite i acknowledge that i just acknowledged it uh secondly yeah these are better <laughs> I, I i now own what one two Three, four, three, four, five, five, six, six. I now own six Moffex figures, and I have a few more on the way. And I can honestly say, them just them joints just better than Marvel Legends. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, like I I, I want I'm I'm still trying to put together this this uh, uh comparison video because I'm sorry, but like. I've now handling these figures versus Marvel Legends. It's a whole different weight class, dude. And that's why I feel like is is it you know, somebody told me, um, wrote to me, uh, that I shouldn't be spending X amount of dollars on plastic. And they have a valid, valid point. That's a valid point. But this is some really good plastic, bro. <laughs> Mind you, that same person who wrote that um, also spends like $200 on freaking Fans Toys figures. Tra Fans Toys Transformers. So, you know, miss me, bro. Miss me. Like, you, you know who you are. I, I, I love you to death, but I, you know who you are. And I, you, listen, listen, you need to stop. But anyway... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like people drop like two my man dropped two hundred dollars on that and i was like yo that roll looking slick man and he looked at the price and he hit me up and he's like i ain't paying that much for no damn plastic dog you spend two hundred dollars on fans toys anyway moving on i like this and i think it goes well with the 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 the, the, the set that they're building gambit psylocke cyclops uh uh gene gray storm wolverine deadpool uh uh they 
then they have a cable. I think they. I don't know if they have a cable yet, but I know. I, I heard they're coming out with Colossus and all this. Other. I'm looking forward to all of these. I'm excited for all of this. All of these. Mofex got me. They got me. Like they're. I'm. I'm forsaking a lot of other companies because I got to catch up on some of these Mofex figures, and I. I just sit around waiting for re-releases, and as soon as I see them, I grab them. <laughs> like I can't. Can't wait. These are really, really well done figures, and it just makes total freaking sense to get them in my book. In my book, they're expensive. I feel like they're overpriced. I usually try to wait for re-releases because they're a little bit cheaper. But man, oh, these are these are great, man. Oh, I'm loving, I'm loving building this set and getting this all put together. It's like their gambit is freaking phenomenal. I gotta do a review on it because their gambit is freaking phenomenal. But yeah, I gotta get this. And then on top of that, I gotta throw out this Haya Toys Marigo. Oh, I love this. I love it. Looks so freaking good, yo. Haya Haya Toys has been on a hot streak. I, I I have a few friends that have been telling me you gotta get in on Haya. You gotta get on there. Their monster line. I was like, dude, I ain't got no space for all this stuff. Like, I can't be getting in all these new lines. I gotta like find like two or three lines, stick with them, and that's it. But like, man man this oh this looks so freaking good i'm just blown away by this it looks so freaking good paint the sculpt the it, i'm looking at the accessory count i'm 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 all i just really want this as soon as i i, I just happened to be refreshing a page and it popped up and i was like <gasps> what i'm hoping Here's my hope. I want them to complete the set. Give us all the Ghost in the Shell figures. Give us the uh, little tanks that talk. <laughs> give, give us all them. Give us all them dudes. I want all of it. I want all the all the characters. Give me all of them. I will buy them. I freaking love Ghost in the Shell. Freaking amazing. Even the series. The, some of the series were mediocre, but seriously the overall ambiance the world the world building the the colors the everything i love 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 that anime give me that give me the whole thing and i'll buy them all i'm i'm so i'm stoked to buy them all give them to me so anyway let me know what you think in the comments i don't want this to be too long a video but let me know what you think in the comments make sure you like share comment and subscribe Make sure you check out the community tab. It's where I post any pre-orders. That's where I post any deals on figs or any uh, restocks that I come across while browsing the World Wide Web. I'll leave a link to that description. Also in the description is my Amazon affiliate link. It's pretty awesome, pretty cool. All you have to do is click on the link, go on Amazon and buy away. And Amazon will pay me a small commission for everything you buy. It's a great way to support the channel and it doesn't cost you anything extra. But yeah, with that, be safe, be good. And it's the Drunken Prime cracking open another beer and signing off.